Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you another full gameplay. Once again, rolling with the Eagles um, offensive playbook, and I've got a custom uh, defense running with a 30, or the 34, uh, the 43, and the big dime 1, 2, 3. I'm going against the Packers, once again, rolling with those Eagles is my primary team. Uh, going against the Creo Gators. Uh, this guy, uh, I will, I'm going to tell you, this is a very competitive game. It comes actually down to the wire, um, and it, it's uh, this guy actually had really good offense. Uh, for the most part, this guy got really he made really good decisions, um, got rid of the ball real quick, and uh, this play right here is <laughs> unbelievable. He catches the ball in um, basically with four defenders around there. He's able to split all the defenders and take it house against me on the second play of the game. That is that's just as bad as actually giving up a, a field goal. So it, it's one of those crazy things. So right here back in the single back Y off. Um, it's a formation I've been really been working with, and I like it because it provides me some running. It's got some good, uh, uh, deep, uh, deep uh, play threats that I can use against my opponent, um, and probably get away with it one or twice. Uh, so right here, a little uh, stretch play, the option stretch, able to go ahead and pick up a good seven yards with that run. So I'll take that, and then right back to this. And this is the play that I really like. Um, I actually uh, put a slant run on the back and side with Aguilar and uh, go across the other side because his, there's no defender out there and able to go and pick up some really good yards with, uh, with Jackson. But you're going to watch me uh, blow that the next time uh, through. So take a delay of game um, in the situation. I was just playing around some uh, with uh, things. And I want to let you know that this game was a little bit laggy. So you're going to see like speed up and slow down um, with some of the stuff. Now this guy played a lot of cover three shells. And uh, what he left open was a lot of the uh, corner routes. So I'm able to go and attack with a corner route. And he, he left it open a lot, uh, but I didn't abuse it because I didn't necessarily want to put myself in a situation where he could bait me into throwing a bad ball. So um, I tried not to abuse the corners, even though the corners he left open pretty much a majority of the game. So right here, a little dive play um, about seven yards out to the goal line. Able to go ahead and get nice blocking right there. Still blocking, which closes up really quick. Get it down to the two yard. And right here, I go ahead and do a little option route or option R. PO hit the run, uh, hit the uh, the wide receiver Jackson to get the ball into the red zone. So uh, he's passing a lot. Didn't get the blitz set up once again. The game was lagging, so my, it was hard for me to go ahead and switch my defenders up. So he's you're gonna see me getting caught out of position a lot because I just I couldn't click onto guys quick enough. So here the pressure comes out. He he starts working Ohio. Remember, put a pin mark in Ohio. That's gonna be uh, a really important aspect of the game. Going to cover four. I think I. I basically went with underneath coverage, so he was abusing me underneath, hitting the hitting the outs underneath. So I wanted to, I, I started doing a lot of underneath coverage right here, try to go and flood him with a lot of a ton of coverage right here. And you see the lag right there. So uh, that might have been an interception if there was no lag. He probably would have thrown a better ball if there was no lag. Try to do a hit with a house blitz right here. I couldn't slide over to the defender. Uh, so uh, I need to get out to the seam and actually throws into my corner defender because I'm playing hard flats. Uh, fourth and four situation. Right here, he's in a shotgun formation. It looks like it doubles uh, with the, with the um, running back offset. And I go hard flats in this type of situation. Play down low. And he's able to go, and I can't cut that ball off. He actually hits a nice little crossing route, like a post, or actually slant over the middle to get a nice little completion. So now he goes with a little mesh concept. Um, I have some pressure going off the edge, and uh, it throws off his rhythm a little bit. Go into cover three shell right here, and uh, basically do a global adjustment to go ahead and put some more yellows out there, just to get people in his passing lanes, because he does a lot of crossing routes as far as the scheme's concerned. And he goes into a screen, but takes a shot up top. My defender does not come down with it. So third and 10 situation try to go with the dogs once again uh, he throws on a slant on the back side he gets a nice little completion so that was a good read good play by him fourth and one situation I go uh, with uh, basically coverage and I think I'm trying to do hard flats right here and actually jumps into an off tackle run uh, and he's able to go and pick up some good yards so that's one that was a really good adjustment so two minutes and 20 seconds left I, I do uh, a QB, can, uh, QB sky he takes a shot into my defender that was a bad pass by him I think he probably saw something he thought he could get away with now I go into a man blitz this guy's been making pretty good reads so far making really good decisions so I was a little bit concerned about this but I figured to go with the pressure especially when he went with empty set uh, there's probably going to be no way he's going to block it, but he actually blocked his tight end and took a shot. My defenders were out there to play it. 
So that worked out for me. So go into uh, cover four, drop, show two, try to take away some of his reads. He throws the ball uh, like a laser and gets it into the red zone, into the end zone uh, for another completion. So uh, up 14, he's up 14 to seven. I got to go ahead and get the ball down the field in a hurry. Two minutes left, uh, three timeouts. Plenty of time to have that, especially with the way he played his defense. He does, his, his defense is very loose. He doesn't do a lot of pressure. So I have plenty of time to make reads. Right here, I go ahead and hit the corner route. Like I said before, that route is open. It was pretty much open the entire game, but I didn't want to abuse it. Go with the draw play right here, but I get a bad animation with my running back. And now he comes into a really aggressive blitz. And um, I, I, it didn't really read it correctly. I didn't think he was, was going to come with a man blitz like this. So I go ahead and motion over my wide receiver just to see it. And I'm, I'm looking at Aguilar, but the pressure comes in really hot, and I just have to get rid of the ball uh, to the tight end. So this is what I do. He's going to come into that, that, you know, just basically pinch hill blitz. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and uh, put slants on both sides of the, of the field. I'm going to look for Aguilar or Jackson. Pressure does not get picked up, but I'm able to go ahead, and Aguilar is able to pick up um, a first down for me. So first and ten situation, staying once again with the pressure. I'm in a set that really isn't designed to handle um, a uh, basically that type of a blitz. So I try to hit the crosser, but actually he goes ahead and gets good pressure off the edge. So a second and 18 situation, go back in the bunch, and right here, um, I'm just going to basically block six right here. I'm going to slide my running back over so I got protection on both edges. So I've got a, a, the tight end blocking. I've got the running back blocking. Streak of Jackson. This is completely just adjusting to what he's doing at defense. And just go ahead and do a nice little crosser right there uh, with the slant route and get it down to the two-yard line. And I let the clock roll down, roll down. Didn't, I knew I had a couple timeouts right there. And I do a little pitch out um, and get the ball into the end zone with the pitch. Tying up the game 14 all. So going into the second half, I'm getting the ball back and I hit him with a little jet sweep. I've showed this to him a couple different times, uh, but not actually running the jet sweep, so I'm able to pick up some cheesy yards. Can't abuse a play like that. Now I come back to the big money play. I've got the crosser. He's got people in the area, and I miss my read. Now, if you go, if you re-ride re, re uh, re that, he actually pulled off of Jeffries, who was wide open for a one-play touchdown, but I read the, 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 I, would, I forced that ball into the bad, uh, bad, bad route, and he's able to go and get an interception. I forced it into the defender, and he picked it off and he left one of my guys blank blanketed so uh, that's one of those learning experiences where you have to really kind of determine what player he's using and seeing if you can get open down the middle of the field so Right here, a third and 15 situation. He ran the ball twice, and I'm able to go and bottle him up. Now I come with a really, really aggressive blitz. He blocks seven, but I get pressure in, and he throws it into the seam, and my defenders come up. He goes for it on fourth and 15 situation. So I'm going in the quarters because I don't want to get beat deep. I'm going to go ahead and, and pressure once again. I think he blocks seven. And he sends out three wide receivers. He's got a little out route that's wide open, but he throws the ball up to the deep post, and I'm able to co come down with it. Would have been better to swap that ball in that type of situation to get better yardage. So now I try to go ahead and hit him up top for a big money play. I have plenty of time, but he takes away my read. Uh, my other read was, was, wasn't in the area. That was just a bad decision. Should have done the deep comeback route on that particular route. I should have known better. But I come back to this corner route, possession catch it, go ahead and get a nice, a nice little completion right there. So second, uh, uh, first down situation, go ahead and drop it down to a little zone. This is bench. And uh, basically, I'm looking for the crosser. He follows the crosser. I'm going to drop it down to the running back. I get a little bad animation, but I'm able to go and pick up uh, some pretty good yards. First and one situation, uh, I go with uh, a, a kind of a Texas concept. And once again, that corner is wide open with the tight end. So I just kept abusing him with it and forced him to do that. So decide to switch things up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and take Ertz and streak him and put the drag on the back inside. No one follows the drag. Drop it down. Try to spin. Pick up some easy yards. Make make sure I'm moving the chains and just getting yeah, extra yardage right here. So uh, in the fourth quarter right here, I do a little misdirection play and pick up some major yards. You could see if I would have had a little bit better sick, that would have been a touchdown. So right here, I jump into um, just a trio set right here, and I'm going to be looking to the flat for the curl, or with the curl uh, comeback. I, I drop it down to the flat. I'm going to take the yards, get rid of the ball, um, and right here is a bunch set. Um, I, I, I basically streaked with the running back. I threw the ball late. If I would have thrown that early, 
that would have been a touchdown, but I threw a little bit late. I didn't realize he was going to get open like that. And I go with a little misdirection again. They got me some major yardage, but I'm forced to settle for a field goal because he stops that run play. So I thought about going for it, but I figured just take the points. Make this guy beat you um, offensively. You know, he's he's been show, he's seen his offense so far. He likes to dink and dunk down the middle of the field. He likes to do, do a lot of crossing routes, so just play for that. So right here, I do a little crossing right here, and actually he does um, a little um, drive or dig route with the running back. Go into, I think, a 40 or into a cover four drop uh, defense. Look for the running back. He hits me with a quick out. Good read, good decision. This guy knows what he's doing, and I hit him with a cover four. But right here, look at the look at adjustment. Hard flats, hard flats. This is a play that he's been pounding me with the beginning of the game, and it's Ohio. My defensive back picks him off and takes it house. So, because I made that hard flat adjustment, because I thought he was going to dink and dunk, he went with Ohio. He threw right into my flat defender, and I basically took him out. This game is basically iced. He's going to have to score on me in two in less than two. He he's gonna have to. Oh my God, EA, you gotta be kidding me! Why well, give up a, a freaking a touchdown return? Or, or you gotta that that is just unbelievable. So he goes for the onside kick. I don't believe that was a smart call. Uh, I'm able to get the ball down to the 43 yard line. Um, he's not showing me a really aggressive blitz. I go ahead and drop it down to the running back route, which is a really good money running route right there, and get the ball down. It's second and four situation. Showing blitz, but I decided to go with a draw play. Maybe not the best decision, but I wanted to go ahead and take away some of his timeouts. And he's letting the clock roll right here. So you go into bunch. I'm assuming he's going to go and pass. This was a bad decision by me. I probably should have went with a different route here, but Aguilar, I've got, I'm looking for the out route. He doesn't come off the route, the ball correctly, and I get actually some um, some heat in my face. So here's the game. Here's a play of the game. I go into a stack set, and this play is really really good against those man blitzes. And if he wasn't ready for it, he didn't know how to prepare for it. And right there, he goes and checks out. So once again, my subscribers, thank you guys for your support. This is more gameplay with that Eagle set. I'll be rolling out some more tips and strategies and jumping into new playbooks coming up soon. So once again, thank you for your support. Until next time.